Welcome back to the K9 Show. Now, today's video, I'm going to discuss everything you need to know about the Bull Terrier, including their origins, temperament, trainability, exercise and grooming requirements, as well as things you must own to keep them happy and healthy, with links to the best prices online. So stick around until the end for the most detailed breakdown of the Bull Terrier on YouTube. But without further ado, let's get into the video. The Bull Terrier is a very distinctive and powerful looking dog that is a real softie at heart, loving nothing more than to be part of a family. Although many of them boast having white coats, Bull Terriers come in a lot of other colours which include Brindle. There are no height or weight limits for them, but with this said, their size should always be in keeping with the breed and whether a dog is female or male. Renowned for their fun-loving and courageous natures, Bull Terriers also boast having a bit of a stubborn streak, which is why their training must start early and socialising a puppy is an absolute must for them to grow into well-balanced, happy, mature dogs. They are not the best choice for first time dog owners because training a bully can be quite challenging thanks to their stubborn streak but bull terrier puppies are incredibly cute and it's all too easy to spoil them which is a big mistake because bullies are smart and quickly learn how to dominate a situation if they are allowed and why consistency is essential when handling and training them even when they are puppies. The Bull Terriers we see today were developed relatively recently and were exhibited at a show in Birmingham in 1962 by James Hinks who is thought to be the breed's original breeder. Interestingly, his family is still involved with Bull Terriers even to this day and are highly respected among the breeders community. It was not until 1850 that James Hinks standardised the dogs he bred which he achieved by selectively crossbreeding Bull Terriers with other terrier type dogs. This included the White English Terrier and his end goal was to create a gentleman's companion. It would be safe to presume that Bulldogs as well as the English White Terrier, a dog that sadly no longer exists today, are in the English Bull Terrier's lineage. It is also thought that Hinks may have used Dalmatians as well as other breeds to create the dogs we see today. Hinks favoured white dogs which soon became popular with other people too and in 1887 the Bull Terrier Club was founded. During this period, white dogs were genuinely bred with any coloured bull terriers which were thought of as being a different type of dog. However, at the beginning of the 20th century, more breeders started to make concerted efforts to breed coloured dogs which led them to being accepted as one type and breed. In 1917, the first of the modern bull terrier to be recognised was a dog called Lord Gladiator. Today, bull terriers are among the most popular breeds in the UK, both as companion dogs and family pets. And interestingly, miniature bull terriers have been around for as long as their larger counterparts, but were only recognised as a unique breed by the Kennel Club in 1939. As with all breeds, there are certain things you need to buy well in advance of getting your Bull Terrier. The products I'm about to discuss, I found the best prices for and listed links to them all in the description section below. So if you go check them out, whether you're getting a Bull Terrier or already have one and may still need some of these items. The first item is obviously food and water bowls. And for a large breed like a Bull Terrier, it's imperative they're raised off the ground with a riser like the one I've listed to ensure that they don't get bloat or gastric torsion, which could kill your dog. Good quality dog food is an absolute must, no exceptions and no excuses. If you cannot afford good quality food then you need to wait to bring a dog into your home until you can afford it. I'm an advocate for both wet and dry food as well as a raw food diet if that's something you're interested in. Choose which one suits you more but ensure you go with a good quality version. And again I've left some choices in the description for you to check out. A good quality dog collar and lead. Personally, I prefer simple slip leads as an, I'm an advocate of perfect heel training for all dogs. But if heel training is something you're working on and want something more secure for the time being, I've also listed my favourite harnesses. I've also listed high quality, excellent value engraved dog tags for your collars that are imperative if you were ever to lose your dog and it is a legal requirement in many countries. A dog crate used in the right way is not only not cruel, but dogs much, much prefer it. But it's important that it's not too small or too big. The one I've listed is the one I use for my bull mastiff to great effect with house training and having a safe, secure place she could retreat to when she needed peace and quiet. A well-made dog bed for inside the crate is also vital. However, it's very common for puppies to chew on their beds. So I have a puppy recommendation that can then be replaced with an adult recommendation when they finish their teething. And then finally toys and lots of them. I've left a few options I recommend for a bull terrier that you can mix and match with. The only one I say to everyone I work with that is compulsory is the Kong. They are the single best investment your dog can make on top of the mandatory things above. And I'll be having a more detailed video soon on how you can use one to solve 90% of dog training issues. I am going to discuss grooming equipment but that's going to be in a completely separate section further on in this video. Over the years and through careful selective breeding, responsible Bull Terrier breeders have successfully developed a dog that makes for a wonderful family pet and companion. English Bull Terriers might look ferocious thanks to them being so powerfully built, but in fact, these dogs boast wonderfully kind and friendly natures with the added bonus of them having a really keen sense of humour. 
They are also intelligent characters and need to be given the right amount of mental stimulation and daily exercise to be truly happy, well-rounded dogs. With this said, Bulteo is also known to be headstrong and being such a powerful dog with a lot of terrier in them, they need to be handled and trained correctly right from the word go. This might make them not the best choice for first-time owners because they need to be well-trained from a young age so they understand their place in the pack and who to look up to for direction and guidance. If they are not handled firmly and fairly from a young age, the English Bull Terrier will soon start to show a more dominant side to their characters, which is something that needs to be avoided at all costs. With this said, they are known to be placid and calm by nature, although they can have a bit of that stubborn streak, especially true of a dog when they have not received the right amount of training needed. If an English Bulldog Terrier feels they are being threatened in any way, they will react, but would rarely be the first dog to show any sort of aggressive behaviour toward another dog. With this said, male bull terriers might just instigate a fight, which is something that owners need to bear in mind when out walking their dog in a public place. But it really does depend on the dog and how well they've been socialised as to how well they behave around other dogs. They are known to be real people dogs, and as such, English bull terriers do not like to be left on their own for any extended period of time, which is why they are not the best choice of dogs for people who spend a lot of time out of the house. They are, however, a great choice for people who are familiar with this type of dog and where one person usually stays at home when everyone else is out. English Bull Terriers are known to have an affinity with young children, but thanks to their playful, boisterous natures, any interaction between a dog and kids should always be well supervised to make sure nobody gets too excited. Care must be taken when English Bull Terriers are around cats, small animals and pets because they might just view them as for game thanks to their high prey drive bearing in mind that they have a lot of terrier bred into them. With this said, if an English Bull Terrier grows up with smaller animals in the house which includes the family cat then they do usually get on well with them if they're socialised and trained appropriately. The English Bull Terrier is an intelligent character and they're capable of learning things relatively quickly. However, as previously mentioned, they do have a bit of a stubborn streak in them, which is why they are not the best choice for people who are not familiar with the type or breed of dog. They do not respond well to any sort of harsh correction or heavy-handed training, but they do answer very well to positive reinforcement and consistent training from someone they know they can look up to for direction. Bull Terrier puppies must be taught the ground rules right from the word go so they understand the limits and boundaries an owner sets them and you must bear in mind that a puppy will always test these when the mood takes them. Consistency is essential because these cute little puppies grow up to be powerful strong-willed dogs that need to know what is expected of them and most importantly their place in the pack and who the alpha dog is in the household. Males can grow 50 to 61 centimetres tall and weighing between 20 and 30 kilos with females also being very similar. The Bull Terrier is a well-muscled dog that boasts a very distinctive shaped head that is rather long and which boasts being egg-shaped when viewed from the front. The top of their heads between their ears is virtually flat and in profile with their muzzles. They curve downwards from the top of a dog's head right to the tip of their nose. A Bull Terrier's nostrils are well-developed and their lower jaw boasts being strong and deep. Their eyes are quite narrow and triangular shaped, being placed obliquely on a dog's face. Colour-wise, eyes can either be very black or dark brown with Bull Terriers having a very distinctive glint about them. Ears are small, thin, and placed neatly close together on a dog's head, which they carry very upright. The Bull Terrier has that strong jaw of a perfect scissor bite where their upper teeth neatly overlap the lower ones. Their neck is extremely powerful, muscular, and long, which dogs all carry arched, which taper from their shoulders to their heads, showing no loose skin whatsoever. Shoulders are muscular, strong, without being overloaded, and a dog's shoulder blades are flat, wide, and close to the chest wall, having a pronounced backward slope to them. Front legs are round with lots of bone which sees the Bull Terrier standing very solidly and squarely on them. And their body is well rounded with dogs having well sprung ribs, a good depth from their withers to their brisket and their back is quite short but very powerful, a level only arching over a dog's well muscled and broad loins. Bellies curve gently upwards which adds to the dog's powerful appearance. Hind quarters are powerful with dogs boasting strong well muscled thighs and second thighs. Feet are compact and round with dog having well arched toes. And their tail is short and set low, which dogs carry horizontally, and it is thicker at the base but tapers down at the tip. When it comes to their coat, Bull Terriers boast having a flat, short and harsh yet glossy coat with a softer undercoat that typically grows during the colder winter months, but is vanished by the warmer weather. The average life expectancy of an English Bull Terrier is between 10 and 14 years when properly cared for and fed a good appropriate diet. Thanks to good breeding practices by reputable Terrier breeders, the breed is generally strong and healthy, but like other breeds with white coats, the English Bull Terrier is prone to deafness. The good news is that the more breeders than are ever are now screening their dogs before using them in a breeding programme, which means the number of Bull Terriers with hearing issues is rapidly dropping. Other conditions that seem to affect the breed most include this deafness that we've discussed, heart disease, kidney disease, patella luxation, umbilical hernias and acne. 
Thanks to their short, tight coats, the English Bull Terrier has low maintenance on the grooming front. Their coats are no fuss and need very little in the way of grooming, although puppies need to be introduced to all the tools needed to keep their coats and skin looking good so they learn to enjoy a grooming session and the one-to-one -one attention they are given when they are being brushed. It's particularly important to touch and play with a puppy's paws, their nails, ears and other parts of their body so when it comes to trimming nails, checking ears and doing other things to them, dogs don't get stressed out. Bearing in mind that a bull terrier that wriggles makes it that much harder to clip nails and check things over. Older dogs just need to be given the once home of a grooming mitt twice a week to keep their coats shiny and to check their skin for any signs of acne or other conditions the breed is known to suffer from. It's also important to check a dog's ear on a regular basis and to clean them when necessary. If too much wax builds up in a dog's ear, it can lead to painful infections, which can be hard to clear up. In short, prevention is often easier than cure when it comes to ear infections. Having the right grooming tools to keep a bull terrier's skin and coat in good condition makes that task much easier. Although easy to maintain their coats, the tools needed to keep a dog's coat looking good are as follows. And as always, the links to the best prices can be found in the description box below. A grooming glove, a chamois leather, a slicker and bristle brush, a fine toothed comb, nail clippers, a pair of round ended scissors, dog specific shampoo and conditioner and flea and worming treatment if you plan to do this yourself. So in conclusion with some positives and negatives and the positives include that they are incredibly loyal and devoted to their families. They're fun loving and energetic by nature and the perfect choice for people who work from home and who lead active outdoor lives. They're good with kids of all ages and excellent watchdogs. They're low maintenance on the grooming front and they're known to be moderate shedders. They're highly adaptable just as happy living in town as they are in the country and they're very sensitive to their owner's mood which can make them excellent companions. However some of the negatives can include that they mature slowly and remain boisterous for a long time puppies can be quite destructive around the home and they're incredibly people orientated and hate being left on their own which makes them suffer from serious separation anxiety they're known to be stubborn when it suits them and bullies are prone to suffering from certain health issues so vet bills can be high dams often have whelping problems and they're not the best choice for first time dog owners because they can be hard to train with that stubborn streak they're also expensive to buy and that also makes them expensive to insure Clip top left to see if the Bull Terrier ranks in my top 10 guard dogs or bottom left to check out another one of our videos I think you'll enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our daily uploads and I'll see you tomorrow for the next episode of The Canine Show.